What's up guys? Welcome to your 15 tutorial. 15, wow. It's quite a bit and our app still doesn't really do anything, but uh, we'll get there. Don't worry. Trust me on that. Uh, but basically today we're going to set up the radio buttons for like the left, center, and right. So we'll move our text to the left, the center, or the right. Basically, uh, first we want to start out with opening up the tutorial 1 XML because I realized we didn't ID our radio groups. So we're just going to set up two, uh, two IDs real quick. We're actually we'll just do the uh, ID on the first radio group. And then your homework's going to set up the bold, the italics, and center. Um, but basically we're going to set up an ID reference and we're going to call it RG gravity for the first one. And then just save it and exit out of the XML here and open up your tutorial one now and we're basically going to do the same kind of stuff that we did in the last tutorial except we're going to set up a radio group and we're going to call this uh, G unit just because I like that name G unit 50 cent what alright so now we need to import our uh, radio group here and then we also need to set it up so is this going to be familiar I'm just going to say G unit equals parentheses radio group and then we got find view by ID sorry it's getting super late so if I type something wrong I apologize and then we're going to set this up for our reference that we just labeled ID dot Where's radio group? Radio group gravity. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to set up this G unit to do something. And usually we use it, uh, usually when we do a button, we say set on click listener. But since we have a radio group, we're going to say set on checked change listener. It's a tongue twister. But we're going to say uh, basically anytime those radio buttons are changed within this radio group we want to uh, do this basically this is going to be our just G unit uh, group right there but usually we set up a new um, method within here that we want to do when uh, we set up our on click listener but this time we're going to do it a little different way we're just going to say this which refers to our G unit and we're getting an error right now because we're using this method from a different class so we want to go down to implement on check change listener down here at the bottom it says let tutorial one implement this and it will it'll basically add it up for up here for you and uh, now we can use the method from within this class but we're also getting another error because it's saying we aren't bas basically it's saying we aren't using the method from that implemented class so we're going to say add unimplemented methods and we should get all our errors to go away basically what that did is it set up this method down here underneath our on create method and basically this is like our on click um, method that we had set up within where we put the this confused where I'm at right now but uh, yeah where we where we usually put uh, where we put this uh, usually we have our view on click listener and then we set up this method basically that's what this is down here um, our on check change every time it's gonna uh, do a check change it's gonna do whatever is in here so now we need to set up what we want it to do and we're gonna we could say like if you know um, if radio button left is clicked then we do this uh, basically there's an easier way than writing out like 10 if statements or 3 if statement if else statements and to do that is it, it's basically a switch in case so we're gonna do switch whatever we set up our switches it's gonna check for that and then our cases are gonna be if um, I'll, I'll explain it as we go here. But what we wanted to check is our integer, which is this parameter, which uh, which is 
within our uh, method right here. So we're going to say whatever we label this as, it automatically puts it in as checked ID. So we're going to say checked ID, and this is going to be a little confusing since we haven't really used this yet, but um, basically it's going to check the ID, which is our radio button ID, and what we want to do is say if it's case r dot id dot uh, radio oh, on I think it's rb left yeah rb left we want it to do and you gotta put in those two dots on top of each other basically it's gonna check our id and if our id equals this we're gonna have it do whatever is down here so when it's clicked we're gonna set the gravity to the left and to do that if you remember we set our text view as text out so we want to do text out and we want to say uh, set gravity and what we want to set the gravity as well we want to take it from the gravity class and then we're going to hit dot and look for left over here and then to end this case say okay after we click the left button do this but we want to end it by just saying break so then it's not going to look for anything else because it found the ID and now we're just going to set up or copy and paste and then we're just going to change these around to center right okay and now we have all three of our buttons set up and a program should work now so I'm just gonna save it and run it and make sure it works okay and so now we can still type whatever we want and click the OK button and now every time we hit one of these at least these uh, this gravity group we can say uh, it will change it to the left to the right to the center whenever we click on one of those buttons within that radio group and we probably have time to do uh, also the bold italics and normal because those are kind of difficult I was just gonna leave that for homework but um, basically let's go back to the XML and set up a reference for our second radio group which is down here Android ID it's a good review of this lesson right here and we're just going to call this uh, radio group um, style hit save exit that uh, then we also want to set up a radio group variable And we'll call this one style unit s unit. Again, we have to set up s unit to do something. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And change this to style. All right, sorry, I clipped the video because I forgot to relabel these. But just make sure you uh, relabel those as s unit. And this we can keep the same because it'll still go um, this is what's kinda neat is whether this group is clicked or this group is clicked it'll basically send the the information down into this method so we can just add to this method so I'm just gonna copy and paste another case because we want to say if it's case uh, normal if it's our normal button that's clicked we want to and this is the tricky part I don't know why they don't have just set style and then like you know bold or whatever but we're gonna have to go to uh, something called set typeface and we want to say typeface dot 
default from style and then we gotta say I think we gotta also do yeah we gotta do uh, typeface dot and then um, we'll just say I think yeah normal right here so it was a little bit longer than our previous one but basically uh, pretty much the same stuff just a little bit, bit different format so I'm going to copy and paste that twice and hit uh, bold and italics and just change these so we can move on to something cool next tutorial here and then we just need to put in um, comma typeface dot italic and then uh, the same for these up here like I said this one's a little bit more confusing than just doing set gravity and gravity but you know it's going to be worth it because our app's going to be making us millions of dollars because it's so awesome alright and that should basically work again thanks for watching this tutorial and hopefully we can move on to some sweet stuff uh, I know you guys all have some recommendations probably in the next one I'm going to use like the Android um, menu button but again thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day